Hello my friends, welcome back! Today new episode is gonna be focused on weapons from Kozak Warriors. Mainly we're gonna take a look on Shashka sword. We're gonna tell you everything about it with Master Jakub. But now let's get started. So Master Jakub, we have a lot of weapons on the table, but please tell us uh, something more about Shashka and the Kozak Warriors. Shashka is very typical Cossack warrior's uh, weapon. It's a kind of saber, but uh, it's a little bit different uh, from a Western saber. For example, uh, this one uh, saber is typical Habsburg monarchy, Middle Europe, mid 19th century saber, and it's with uh, some uh, guard. Mm -hmm. By the way, this very high value sword. It was uh, present of highest uh, Czech aristocracy to horse riding teacher, so some dukes, some people like this, and it's with oriental blade. Mm -hmm. uh, it's wood Damascus with Kovtgari decoration made by gold. Here is some, I suppose, inscription uh, from Quran, and here is a signature of maker. The blade of this saber is some connection uh, with uh, Cossack swords because uh, original Cossack from uh, Ukraine was fighting with Osmanic Empire and Krim Khanat, and mm -hmm. uh, often used uh, Osmanic weapons like like Shamshir or Kilic. And uh, one interesting uh, point of view is that uh, even uh, when the Cossacks used Osmanic uh, uh, sabers, removed T-shaped guard of Kilic and Shamshir and mm -hmm. used it without it. I don't know reason, uh, but I suppose that or origin of Shashka is uh, from this manner. I saw all this Shashka in Kiev National Museum it was a very simple weapon uh, from 17th century. Mm -hmm. It's with very simply made uh, wooden handle with some uh, ball in the end of handle. It was made from one piece of wood. Uh -huh. uh, but typical Shashka uh, like is in a shape like this. It's uh, without uh, guard and it's uh, with handle finished in shape of bird's hat. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is different between uh, Shashka and Western Sabre? It is uh, about uh, style of fencing. Uh, I'll show it later, but in case of Western Sabre I am using only one hand, but in case of Shashka I am changing my hands and ah. legs as well. So uh -huh. maybe it was good for cavalry. One enemy was here and I changed my hand and got a second hand enemy in this uh, style. Original Cossack was surprisingly not as riders as we suppose in time of uh, Bogdan Khmelnytsky in 17th century it was infantry warriors uh, with matlock guns mm -hmm. so, so it's uh, some uh, disunderstanding that we suppose that uh, uh, Cossacks were perfect riders, as usually were uh, after that from 18th, 19th century. And uh, even later was uh, so-called plastrons, it was infantry Cossacks. And any kinds of uh, Cossacks used uh, plenty of weapons and after that Sheshka became very popular. Sheshka has been made not only in uh, Ukraine or Russia, but even in Persia, ah. Osmanic Empire, etc. Mm -hmm. It's not so well known. For example, my uh, Sheshka, per my personal weapon, uh, is with a Persian-made blade from uh, Woods Damascus, and here in this part is uh, some signature of Maker. Woods is very perfect material, and uh, it's perfect for cutting. Surprisingly, uh, uh, very popular was, for example, a European made from Passau in Germany. In the blade of this uh, kinjal or uh, short uh, sword origin, we can see Paso wolf. Cossacks suppose that it's not wolf but uh, monkey uh, mm -hmm. in Russian uh, Abyaziana. But uh, wolf is in Russian uh, Walchok. Was it like a, some religious symbol or something like that? Uh, it, it's from a medieval age, very famous uh, mark of Passau sword maker. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it was a place mm -hmm. with very uh, high qualities. So it uh -huh. was a lot of uh, forgeries of uh, these blades, even uh, in Cossacks' uh -huh. areas. And Master Jakub was also Shashka in the military, because this type, I think it uh, was used in the Yes, uh, first time army. from the 30s of uh, 19th century. This one is uh, from the uh, start of uh, Soviet period in the uh, 20th century. It was for Cheka or for police. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Don type uh, Shashka, uh, this uh, weapon. 
has been used even in t World War II, ah, uh, okay. and uh, mm -hmm. it's very well cutting weapon. Very very sharp. One interesting point is that wearing of Sheshka was uh, sometimes like this. It's same like in the uh, case of Japanese sword, katana, uh -huh. uh, blade is up to heaven. In some cases it was opposite side like in Western Sabres, but mm -hmm. in Caucasus region it was some cutting after drawing of Sheshka. It's same like Yaido or uh, art of Japanese sword drawing. And what was the name of the school of uh, using Sheshka? Was there like a name of this martial art or something? It was a like? lot of schools, but it was not mm -hmm. schools as we uh, suppose because mm -hmm. it was learning from old Kozak to Yongguan, not, not, not mm -hmm. system of schools like in uh, old Japan or China, for example. And do we have some uh, kind of evidence that in some battle that was very effective with these weapons? Do you know some from the historical... Uh, I suppose that a uh, very strong point of Shashka is uh, a very impressive cutting uh, power, so we can try it in our uh, tests. Master Jakub, I have seen videos on YouTube where they like uh, swinging like a crazy with this uh, shashka. They have even two in hands. What is the, what is this? Or? It's so called flankirovka. It's Kozak uh, shashka uh, sword dance. It's often uh, produced by girls uh, with uh, light and not sharp uh, shashka. Mm -hmm. But it's very good mm -hmm. for understanding uh, how to shashka work uh, because. Uh, in cutting, in proper cutting of shashka, uh, it's similar like in the case of Japanese sword. We are using all of the body. It's not only from arms, like in uh, Western uh, saber fencing. In practicing uh, of uh, flankirovka uh, or uh, cutting technique and fighting technique with shashka, very very improve. And uh, uh, I am using. Uh, all of the body so it's without power in my muscles and I'm practicing flankirovka as well uh, you can see uh, in some video ah, cool. but uh, mm -hmm. uh, we are combinating uh, flankirovka with rupka it's cutting it's ah, uh, uh -huh. uh, some tournament in rupka in uh, Ukraine and Russia as well usually uh, material for cutting is uh, a plastic bottle we have some uh, ah, okay. as well so, uh -huh. so we can try it as well uh, but uh, mm -hmm. we are uh, uh, trying uh, uh, Sheshka cutting in uh, straw mats, uh, it's uh, material for uh, Japanese word uh, uh, cutting test or tameshigiri. It's very, mm -hmm. very good because it uh, is uh, same resistance for plate like human body. I think you can see definitely right now. Let's test it out. Yes. Master Jakub, since we have more weapons on the table, can you a little bit explain about the secondary weapons from uh, Kozak? Very famous is Kinjal, it's uh, danger. It was used, for example, uh, in uh, Kafka's uh, area as well. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Georgia Kinjal is called Kama, it's very big. Uh, Mm -hmm. Short uh, kinjal, maybe it's this like size this one, of plate. This is also like a similar type. This and uh, this one is uh, uh, so-called hanjar. Aha, uh -huh, hanjar. This one is Indo-Persian uh, hanjar from the start of 18th century. Also made from wood Damascus, but it's necessary to polish it, it mm -hmm. uh, to show the structure of material. Uh, and uh, this is a military pattern artillery weapons uh, called kinjal, but uh, in the fact it's something like hanjar because it's a uh, two edged uh, blade, but it's uh, with carving. Kinjal mm -hmm. is without carving. Ah, it's okay. a difference between like a combination. It. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. 
very horrible penetration. <laughs> Look at that guys, even that I was using my right hand and not so much power, the skin gel made through this uh, target, it's very tough material, it's not like a classic styrofoam and it made through very very easily, wow, super sharp. Even a full spin rotation was very powerful. It's not my favorite technique, but after some very uh, good advices from Master Adam, it was successful. And penetration is very horrible, as you can see. Wow. Sure that, I suppose. And we have also like a, some kind of whips, or what is it? Uh, this whips is so-called nagaika. Without this part, it was uh, used for horses or uh, for dynamization of nevolnik or uh, peasants. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. But we added before war some part like this. It was very deadly weapon. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see it in our crash tests. Uh, it was very good when uh, my enemy has been used uh, shield because... Ah, you get over it. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yes, yes. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Cossacks used it for wolf hunting. Ah, wolf attacks. Eh? Yes, yes. Hunting. Mm -hmm. Because uh, gunpowder was quite expensive, so mm. from horse saddle... It w you just smack it It was over possible the head. to kill these animals uh -huh. with one head. Mm -hmm. This is maybe, it's not seems guys, but uh, some uh, it's like a metal inside or yes, something yes, like yes. that. This is very, very tough. If you get smacked with this, it's gonna break bones 100%. Very easily. Maybe we can try smack something with it. Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, Master Jakub, I have in my hands this uh, beautiful pike. I heard you have some uh, story with it or something like that. This one uh, is Persian Qajar uh, uh, dynasty spare. But uh, I have some Pike uh, Shashka story from one my friend and uh, student, Adam Mensdorf Pui. His ancestor was fighting in World War I as Habsburg Monarchy cavalry uh, and was fighting against uh, two Cossacks. Ah, one uh, uh -huh. used uh, the, uh, the Pike. Uh, and stabbed him. So, uh, uh, Mensdorf, uh, I don't know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Mensdorf fell out from uh, saddle. Mm -hmm. And second one uh, draw uh, Shashka ah. and two times uh, cut him uh, into the into the head. But mm -hmm. Mensdorf Pui survived, and now I am teaching Art of Shashka one of his uh, uh, ancestors. And I told uh, Adam. Now, uh, if uh, one uh, uh, one Cossack will attack you with spare, you uh, can uh, cut his head very easily. So, practice uh, very hard. So, we will try situation uh, like uh, uh, previous uh, story fight. It means uh, Sheshka versus spare. So, you're gonna basically show the self-defense for the attack, right? Yes. Okay. So guys, this was definitely interesting episode. Let us know in the comment section below which weapon from the Kozak Barrier was your favorite. I think we definitely enjoyed the Shashka with the Master Jakub. I learned a lot. And also, let us know if you want another episode for some weapon that you have seen today. It could be also the Sabre, right? A special episode about the Sabre. Very special Sabre. <laughs> or the Vips. Anything, guys. So definitely let us know. But for today, that's it. So, thank you everyone for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and... See you, See you next, next time. time. <laughs>